you are awesome and you're back thank you guys so much i'm dan this is mandy and you are watching buzz chomp Woo! yeah you go woo woo yeah woo! enjoy pretty little liars final season all about a d's network this most recent episode was way way better guys I think that they watched our vlog and they decided that they were going to make it better than last week's episode. Um, yeah. We found out more about 80s Network, or as Sydney called 80, Anonymous Donor. I don't believe all these people that they don't know who they're working with. So let's first talk about Sydney here. She claims to have helped... Jenna, Jenna reached out to her, haven't connected with her since high school, blah, blah, blah. We don't believe you, Sydney. We don't believe you. You're running errands for Jenna. She, quote, you claim isn't responding to your text message or phone calls, but you go to a doctor's office, you put a deposit down for another eye surgery that's going to give her eyes back to her. Hmm. They ask you who paid UJ AD, an anonymous donor. I don't believe you that this is just a client. I really don't. You were lying to Emily. You were lying to Ari and Emily when they were confronting you. Sure, you don't know them. Sure, you don't owe them anything, but you've been lying. So I do think you know who AD is. I do think you know where Jenna is. I think you both are in on this with AD and just part of their network. You're probably getting paid. You're probably getting something. Maybe you're getting blackmailed. I don't know, 80 blackmails everyone, but you're not as innocent as you're making off to be. So we still haven't seen Jenna since like the little reveal last week of her going to the cops, telling her story about Noel, blah, 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 being the victim. Now Jenna's in hiding. Having Sydney, like we said, do her errands, do her dirty work for her. We really don't believe that Jenna doesn't know who AD is. It's just Jenna has always been involved with A, always been involved with getting back at the liars for, you know, the whole eyesight thing, which I get it. I get it. That sucks. You just wanted to get even all these years. Jenna knew Archer Dunhill. Jenna knew Charlotte knew they were playing with the liars. So I definitely think she knows who AD is and is helping AD. There has to be more people in AD's network, guys. There has to be more people. We really haven't seen anyone else this season yet, except I'm thinking maybe Lucas, guys. He just seems like he's being too nice to Hannah and they just reconnected technically earlier this year for them they haven't been connected that long he wants to help her with her fashion line he invested in her he's hooking her up with these other investors he's like being her little cheerleader I mean I just don't understand why he's doing this out of the goodness of her heart he gave her that loft like even when he's in Rosewood he's never staying there so it just seems creepy guys it just seems creepy and while we want to give Lucas the benefit of the doubt I'm thinking he's working with AD guys I'm thinking his loft is bugged that's how AD is always like one or two steps ahead of the girls they're always going to the loft talking laying out their plans there all that jazz and AD always knows because Lucas is in on it guys because Lucas is in on it the network runs deep, guys. 80s network runs deep. And it's definitely connected to the game. Like we said with Lucas and helping Hannah. Hannah's play was to wear that weird outfit to her meeting. Yeah, it was like a Chinese dress that was definitely going to offend the investors. But Hannah failed. Hannah failed because she had to go to the hospital because Caleb got sprayed by the game. Hmm. See, I think the whole plan the whole time of AD was to have Hannah fail, was to have them bicker and all of that. And even Emily says after Hannah's like, well, I failed mine and you guys all passed and you didn't have to do anything, blah, blah, blah. Emily said, this is part of the game. AD wants us to turn on one another. 
Of course AD wants them to turn on each other. I said that before. It's all linked together, guys. It's all linked together. Everyone who's helping AD, AD's pulling all their strings, trying to make the girls fall apart, trying to bring them down any way that AD can. This could just be a red herring, guys, but why is Allie always leaving Rosewood? Did she leave Rosewood to have something to do with the baby? I don't know. Is she going to get an abortion and abort that Archer Dunhill's baby? I don't know. But it always seems fishy that she's not always around. It makes me wonder if Allie has something to do with AD, guys. I never thought Allie was AD, and I still probably don't think that she is. But it just seems fishy that she's always, always out of town. She's always like not there. She's only there like part of the time. It just seems weird. It seems really, really weird. Apparently next week's episode, we're going to find out who killed Mrs. De Laurentiis. I kind of think it's Mary Drake. I kind of think Mary killed her own sister. That's probably who killed Mrs. De Laurentiis is her sister. They hated, hated one another. They hated one another. The season's blowing up, guys. AD sent Archer Dunhill's finger to the police. Oh, this A is not playing with the girls. AD is out for blood. She's out for ruining these girls, guys. She's out for ruining the girls. Her network is strong. She's playing everyone. She's got a lot of people. And we don't believe that these people don't know who they're dealing with. We definitely think that they do know who they're dealing with. And they're just lying to the liars like everyone is always lying to one another in this show comment below let me know what you think of ad do you have any theories do you know who it is do you think you know who it is i'd love to hear them yeah kids yeah pretty little liars final season tune back in more from mandy and dan on buzz Chuck. subscribe oh yeah thank you